Hey fellow traders, uh, what's up? Hope you've been trading well. Okay, um, this week has been a very difficult week to trade. So I just wanted to record a quick video about um, the markets just before we go into uh, NFP, right? So uh, we are on the uh, 5th of June, okay? And NFP is happening in about uh, three hours time. And that's also why uh, the market is not really moving. Okay, so uh, if you've been in our Telegram channel for some time, you know that uh, I talk a lot about um, this kind of weeks, you know, uh, weeks where you have um, the ECB, you have all these uh, conferences, right? For example, this one also, BOC rate statement. These are the kind of weeks which are really tricky to trade, right? RBA, okay, because uh, you, you don't know what's going to be said in the conference, okay? So if you're struggling this week, Right, uh, just know that uh, this kind of weeks happens uh, once in a while, it's inevitable. So uh, these are the kind of weeks that you want to scale down in terms of your trading and you don't want to trade so much. Right? This is also the reason why uh, we don't have a lot of uh, trades this week. Okay? We, we, don't, we are not too aggressive with the number of trades that we take this week. Okay? So uh, let's get that out of the way. Okay? And now let's talk about uh, the charts. Right? Let's talk about the charts and uh, what to expect uh, as we head into a uh, non-farm payroll, okay? So normally before a uh, non-farm payroll, uh, the market will always uh, range, right? It won't go anywhere, okay? Because uh, the big boys are waiting for the numbers, okay? Everyone's waiting for the numbers. And that is why price will usually stay at a very important level and uh, just park there, right? Just park there. Now, the, the it's almost, you know, it's almost a fact that um, price will always stay at a given level, you know, an important level uh, before an important event. It's always like that, right? The only question is, can you tell that that's an important level or not, okay? So if you, you know, you use some analysis, some technical analysis, draw some trend lines, uh, use some tools, you should be able to find out um, what is the uh, level that the market is looking at. So the pair that I'm looking at, uh, it's the dollar index, okay, I've recorded a video about the dollar index before, right, it tells you the strength of a USD, okay, so since USD is the main currency, so let's start uh, by talking a bit about uh, USD, okay, DXY, okay, so you can see over here, I'm on a weekly chart, and um, you can see that this is 0 0.786, okay, so price is sitting nicely at 0 0.786, okay, which is 96.46, so price love to do this during NFP. It likes to sit at an important level and have you guess, right? Guess the direction, which is whether it's going to be an up or it's going to be a down, right? Now, the reason why uh, I personally don't like to trade uh, NFP is because it's really 50-50, right? 50% because if price is sitting on a level, there's only two outcomes, right? You can have it bouncing off or you can have it breaking down, right? There's only two outcomes. Now, personally, I don't like it because uh, if I can trade and get a probability of, you know, 60% win rate, 70%, why would I do a 50%, right? It doesn't make sense. But uh, if you are the kind who like to bet, you like to gamble, uh, it's just so you, you can, I mean, you can, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. Just make sure you manage your risk, okay? The other reason why I don't like to trade NFP is because um, normally the movement will be very weepy. It'll go up, it go down, go up, go down, and I don't like that. Okay, I like to trade clear movements where uh, the moment I click the button, uh, I'm in profit immediately. That's the kind of trader I am. Okay, so uh, now you understand that DXY at this moment, we are sitting at support. Okay, 96.46. So that's a very uh, strong level. Right? You can also see that uh, this was the prior uh, swing low here. Right? Swing high here. So it's pretty easy to see why price is stopping here. Okay, so uh, let's look at gold. Okay, gold has been in consolidation, right? This whole entire chunk here, it's consolidation, okay? Uh, let me just show you something that uh, you may or may not have uh, known, right? It's uh, this right here, okay? So uh, I'm going to reiterate what I said at the start of the video, right? Um, the market is always parked at an important level before news event, okay? This is a very big tip for you. It's always parked at an important level. The only question is, can you understand what the market is looking at, okay? So as you can see over here, the market is looking at uh, this resistance here holding so far. Now the question, just like DXY is, is it going to bounce off as resistance or is it going to break through, right? 
honestly, there's no way to tell now because, uh, you know, the uh, news, it's uh, happening in three hours time. So not possible to tell, uh, but you just want to watch out for this. Okay, if this is resisted, then uh, probably next week onwards, uh, you can look for the continuation of the uh, downtrend because uh, what you have here is a, um, you have a high here. Okay, you have a low, you have a lower high and then you have a lower low. So technically we're in a downtrend and uh, this trend line is broken and acting as a resistance. Okay, so you want to watch this level. You want to draw this trend line uh, if you are trading gold. Okay, look for this level. Okay, now let's talk about uh, Aussie dollar. Okay, so Aussie dollar is rather straightforward. Uh, you can see over here that this was the previous uh, swing high. It's parked there. So you, you, you begin to see it's always the same pattern, right? In fact, all the currencies right now are mostly like this. They're just parked at a very important level. And you know, the market wants to make it tough for you. They, they want you to bet, okay, is it going to break up or is it going to be resisted? Okay, so honestly, there's no point in trading a pre-NFP. Right? I'd rather you wait for NFP and then you see whether this level uh, is going to hold or it's going to break. Okay, so you just want to watch this recent high. Okay. Uh, Coincidentally enough, it's also a 0 0.700. Okay, that's the round number. Okay, psychologically, it's very strong because it's 0 0.7. It's easy to remember. It's a very strong level. Uh, ideally, you don't want to be buying into it. Okay, you don't want to buy it. For example, the current price now, which is 0 0.6981. And, you know, having 0 0.70 as a resistance, right? It's, it's too, too narrow. You're, you're only probably going to get like 18 pips. Okay, so it's not a good play. Okay, let's talk about euro dollar. Okay, so euro dollar. Um, okay, same thing. You can see over here. Uh, this one is a bit more tricky, right? Because uh, you could say that oh, uh, euro dollar has some uh, distance up because you know the spike high is here, right? But uh, based on experience, right? If I were to look at this chart. I won't look at this spike, I'll look at this level instead because if you look left, you realize that this level uh, has been resisted uh, before, right? So I'll be looking at the, I will be looking at the candle uh, open here, which is here instead, okay? So if you see it this way, you see it the way I see, then currently price is being resisted. In fact, uh, now you have kind of what is known as a uh, shooting star, okay? And uh, the, the, the candle is uh, black, means it's bearish. Right, means price is below the opening price for today. So, so far, right, have, before we head into the US session, uh, the sentiment is still bearish for the day. So, um, still too early to say, right? I mean, it looks bearish doesn't mean that uh, you should short it now because as I said, uh, the uh, NFP, right, uh, it might just uh, push it up, okay? So, you don't know again, okay? But I just want to show you it's the same pattern again. This is the level you want to watch out for, uh, 1.1353, uh, okay? So all these levels that I give you, uh, you, what you can do is you can write it down. Okay, you can write it down, you know, uh, just, just upload it in your chart, okay? If you missed the previous levels that I talked about, uh, just rewind this video, watch it again, and then uh, get the levels, okay? Now let's talk about dollar cat. Now dollar cat is one of the uh, uh, weakest currency uh, this entire week. You see from the start of the week, all the way it's been selling down, right? You have a very small but Bull, uh, bulls who buy this, right? The, the upswing was minimal, right? Sorry, let me just show you this. It's clearer, right? You look at this part. The upper tail is very uh, small. That means that the bulls didn't manage to take much control and it just starts selling down, okay? Uh, but the problem right now is that uh, you are at a cluster of support, right? So if you're going to sell now, you are actually chasing after the trade, okay? In fact, if you look at uh, this over here, uh, I would advise you not to trade dollar cat because you have dollar and you have cat uh, at the same time. Both currencies, right, dollar cat, both currencies have important news. So uh, what happens is that if you trade dollar cat, it's going to be very volatile because what happens if the dollar is positive and uh, the news is positive, but um, Canada, the news is also positive, right? If, if there's any form of conflict, right, one is positive, um, but the other one is uh, also positive then you can't really tell the direction, right? Of course, in a best case scenario, you have uh, the dollar, for example, being uh, weak and the Canadian being strong. Then you get another big movement down, uh, which sometimes happen, okay? So it's too late to enter, uh, but there's a lesson that you can learn from uh, this trade, right? I mean, this, uh, this setup here is that uh, if you had not entered uh, all week, 
a good strategy would have been, uh, you know, if you find entry in the, the early, early, the start of this week, for example, Monday or Tuesday, we started this trade. Then uh, what you can do is uh, you can shift your stop loss, right, to, uh, to maybe somewhere here just to lock in some profits and you bet, you use your um, unrealized profit to bet on the direction of the uh, currency after the data. It means you just uh, bet that, that um, dollar is going to be weak and cat is going to be strong uh, in the hope, right, right, notice I said the word bet, right, because it's really a bet. Right, you bet that it's a big move down, right? Because uh, the dollar news is uh, bad and the cat news is strong, right? That's a bet. But you should not, right? Right now, if you have no positions, just go in and enter, okay? That's not a good way to bet, right? A better way to bet would have been to enter the trade at the start of the week and then hold it uh, until the data is released and pray that, you know, the data goes uh, in tandem with a direction, okay? That's how I like to place uh, my bets if I were to bet on the... Uh, Economic news uh, data. Okay, so let's talk about uh, Kiwi dollar. Okay, Kiwi dollar is pretty interesting because uh, it broke above this high. Okay, it's super bullish. Okay, I think the Kiwi dollar is probably the only trade which uh, I'm not too concerned about. Uh, uh, not too concerned. Of course, you have levels of you know resistance here, and if you use the Fibonacci, it's probably the uh, 78, 786 level. Okay. But right now it seems to be above, okay, and it's above this spike high as well. So um, I would be willing to buy, okay. I'll be willing to look for an entry within this zone, okay, because right now price is above the uh, resistance level, okay. Of course, you could argue that uh, there are other levels here, but personally, I think it looks super bullish, and uh, I'm willing to look for entry within this on a maybe smaller size. Right, because uh, other pairs, you know, they are pretty exhausted. The movement, right, it's on a critical level. But for this Kiwi dollar, uh, it seems like uh, it has broken a key level, right? Uh, notice I said it seems because uh, the daily chart hasn't closed. Okay, the week hasn't concluded. So uh, we're kind of making an early uh, conclusion. Okay, alternatively, what you can do is uh, you can, based on this, uh, you know that Kiwi is strong. You look for other pairs. You can look for Euro Kiwi. You can look for... Uh, you know, Kiwi Yen, you know, you look for another Kiwi pair which is uh, clearer. Okay, that's something you can do. That's another hack for you over there. Okay, let's talk about Dollar Yen. A uh, Dollar Yen, uh, pretty straightforward. Okay, uh, I don't know if you see it, but uh, you have the recent high over here and price is just uh, stuck there currently. Okay, so uh, I don't advise you to do anything about it. Okay, uh, you also have to overcome the 0 0.618. Okay, it's at resistance, but uh, the sentiment the entire week has been bullish. You can see the tail has been quite small, the uh, lower tail, right? And uh, even today, the sentiment is uh, bullish. So uh, to sell straight into this, I think it's quite, uh, it's, it's, it's not a wise move, okay? Even though it's at resistance, right? You want to look for more signs of a trend reversal if uh, you want to short it down. Otherwise, you wait for this level to be broken and then you look for a tar target towards uh, the, uh, the upper level. Okay, uh, one more thing to note is so you have the 110, which is a very strong psychological number. Okay, uh, very sim similar to the um, Aussie dollar trade. Okay, uh, 110 is a very strong number. So if you're going to buy up, uh, just be very careful. Make sure to lock in your profits fast. Okay, let's talk about um, pound dollar. So pound dollar, so same thing. You can see the recent highs over here. It's being resisted. So same thing, uh, just wait for it. Uh, if possible, stay out would be a better option, okay? I don't want to talk much about this because uh, it's, it's kind of the same thing, okay? Now let's talk about the last currency pair, which is uh, Euro Yen, which looks crazy strong, okay? It looks crazy strong, okay? Um, let me just... Okay, so Kiwi, uh, sorry, not Kiwi, Euro Yen uh, is very strong. Uh, it closed above this recent high. Okay, right now you have this uh this acting as resistance over here. Okay. So I definitely want to be buying Euro Yen, but not at this high level because if you are buying now, you're buying straight into resistance. Okay. So uh if I could trade, I would try to get it lower. Okay, probably this trade would happen next week, not this week. Uh wait for a retracement down. Okay, retracement down first, and then look for some form of a pattern over here, some form of confirmation to enter, and then you just buy it up. Okay. But right now, uh, even though it's strong, I think uh, you're already too late. You kind of really missed the boat. 
So uh, please do not chase the market. Chase the market because uh, you know this part over here is acting as resistance. You you will be buying the resistance. Okay. So that's it for this video. Uh, it's probably been a very long video. Uh, I hope you trade safe, right? You manage your risk well because um, NFP can grow your account if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, if you are new to uh, our YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, okay, uh, so that you will receive more videos like this, okay? Uh, if you are not already downloaded uh, our free day trading guide, make sure you download it, right? The link is in the description. It's a free guide to get you started, teach you a strategy, a step-by-step -step strategy, and a uh, cheat sheet on how to read candlestick uh, charts, okay? So make sure you grab that. If you have any questions, uh, any other currency pair you want, uh, just uh, leave a comment down below. We'll do our best to analyze it fast and maybe send it in the um, Telegram channel, right? So if you're also not in the Telegram channel, make sure you check that out because uh, it's a free channel where we send some of our signals. Okay, uh, we made a lot of money uh, through these signals, right? A lot of subscribers made a lot of money. Okay, this week we are up 100 plus pips, okay? even though it's been a tough week. Okay, so make sure you join there and we'll see you in the Telegram channel. Okay, see you in the next video.